I'm Julia. Today we are going to learn about the rock cycle. For this experiment, you are going to need scissors, wax paper, foil, and crayons. The first step is to take the crayons and shred them with the scissors onto the wax paper. These crayon shavings represent segments. So what you're going to do next is you're going to fold the wax paper on, on, in half on top of the sediments and you're going to gently press down with a book. Then you unfold and feel. Now it's going to feel like what sedimentary rock feels like and that's just a bunch of smaller rocks pushed together to form one big rock. The next step is to smush the the shavings up again into a small pile. Then you rub your hands together, to creating enough friction for them to be warm. Place your hands over it and smush them down with all your might. The heat from your hands makes them melt just a bit, and as um, sedimentary rock goes down into the earth, it melts just a little bit and gets packed in, for, in firmer and makes a metamorphic rock. Now unfold and feel how different this feels than before. The next thing you're going to do is take your foil and make it into a flat bowl. But make sure to fold it over first so it's a little double layered. For the next step, you mush up the crayon shavings again and pour them into your bowl. Then you take your small bowl and place it over a heating source, maybe a hot pad or something, and watch it melt. Since we didn't have something more efficient, we used a griddle. And now we wait. So to make it all melt, not completely, but sort of, you need to prod it around a little so all of it gets under. Don't burn yourself. So that was when the metamorphic rock got pushed further down into the earth and it was melting. So you're going to let it cool and after that you're going to peel it out of your little bowl. This represents igneous rock, also known as granite. And now you know all about the rock cycle.